Hello everyone, it's Miss Silva back to read again today. Hello. Um, we are going to start with our calendar today and then we are going to read a book that has dinosaurs in it today. So first we have to start with our calendar and we know that our month is still the same. So our month is April and our year stays the same as well and our year is 2020. Now we are going to look and I put an apple on today's date. So we are going to go up Boop, 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 to find our day of the week. And our day of the week is Friday. Today is Friday, April, look at the number, 24th, 2020. So today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. And yesterday was Thursday. So Friday means it's the end of our school week, so then it is the weekend. So I won't have a video for you on um, Saturday or Sunday, but we'll be back on Monday to read again. So again, we are talking about fiction and nonfiction books. So fiction books are books that are fake or could not happen in real life. And then nonfiction books are things that could happen in real life and do happen every day um, or could happen every day. So today we're gonna be reading a dinosaur book. So because you know it's a dinosaur book, do you think this book is fiction or nonfiction? So it is nonfiction because we do not have dinosaurs walking around um, outside. You don't see dinosaurs. You'll probably see them um, pretend ones at the zoo or you'll see pretend ones in movies, but dinosaurs are not real. So this is a fiction book today. Um, but you can always tell me, you can pick a picture at the end of this book to tell me why you think it's a fiction book. And then you could also tell me what you think is real because there are the dinosaurs are going to be doing things that are real um, that we could do every day, but it's going to be a dinosaur doing it instead of a person doing it. So this book is How Do Dinosaurs Count to Ten by Jane Yolen and Mark Tegu. Dinosaur counting starts with one, one tattered teddy bear, just for fun. So he has is one teddy bear, two big balloons tied to the bed. You ready to count? One, two, three toy trucks painted blue, green and red. Ready? One, two, three. Three toy trucks. Four balls that bounce. One, two, three, four. Now you can pause and think or you can tell your parent or whoever's with you what color are those balls? All right, five big letter blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Five big letter blocks. And under the bed, six dirty socks. Let's count the dirty socks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six stinky socks. A track, an engine, and seven cars. Let's find all the cars. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cars. And an easel with eight full paint jars. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you tell me those colors? Nine pictures hanging on the wall. Look at all those amazing pictures. I hope you're making pictures at home. You ready? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at those nine pictures. Very good pictures. Ten books to read and that is all. Now that he's counted from one to ten, how does a dinosaur count again? Well, let's count. We're going to count the books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Good job counting with me today. So maybe today you can go out and count. I want you to keep trying to count. And now think, what is something that, um, why do we, we know the big book is fiction because we have dinosaurs in it. But if we were to switch out a dinosaur and put a person there, you can draw me a picture and tell me how this book could change from fiction to nonfiction. We could make it fake. So it's fake with dinosaurs, but then we can change it and put a person there and make it real. So just pretend the dinosaur is not there and we can make this book a real book about how do kids count to 10. Thanks for reading with me again today. I will see you Monday. Bye-bye.